The worlds of art and technology were on display at a recent show in New York City. I think the best and most talented artists have always looked to technology, to new formats, to be able to take their art to the next level. That includes turning digital art into non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, digital collectibles linked to blockchains, encrypted distributed ledgers that validate their origins and authenticity. Liz Yang works at Definity, a nonprofit with its own blockchain network called the Internet Computer. Definity helps artists turn their works into NFTs, which are minted, traded, and sold on the platform. From a provenance perspective, you would know exactly like where the art originated from and where, where it's been sold like, into perpetuity, essentially. That's important for digital art, which is typically easy to copy. Owners of NFTs hold the authorized original art in a digital wallet. In addition to giving digital artists more exposure, NFTs allow them to make money in different ways. There are a lot of cases where artists sell art at a time where they're not that famous. And then later on down the line in the secondary markets, the art sells for many, many multiples more, but they don't reap any of the rewards. Blockchain platforms use smart contracts that are programmed to execute transactions based on certain conditions. Because it's code, you can stipulate in the code that artists receive a percentage cut of every secondary market transaction thereafter. Critics say the buzz around NFTs make it a highly speculative market, and it remains to be seen whether the current movement is a bubble that will eventually burst. Still, artists like Neil White are excited for the new medium. It's pretty fun to kind of feel like I'm sort of making art in like more, a more like futuristic form. And that future may well be filled with NFTs. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.